for Oscar de la Hoya, the legend of many Pacquiao, took roots long before the Filipino battered him into submission in 2008. The retired boxing legend admitted he already saw the greatness in the Filipino fighter five years before they actually fought in the ring. I remember when I first promoted Manny Pacquiao vs Marco Antonio Barrera many years ago. At that time, nobody knew who Manny Pacquiao was, recalled the golden boy. But after he beat Marco Antonio Barrera, the world knew who Manny Pacquiao is going to become, and that is an eight time world champion in eight different divisions and an iconic figure, he added. Pacquiao stunned the boxing world in 2003 when he scored an 11th round stop page of Barrera, then considered as the world's top fighter, pound for pound, in a non title fight at the Alamodome in San Antonio, Texas. Pacquiao achieved boxing superstardom when he forced De La Hoya to quit on his stool after being pummeled for eight rounds in their celebrated 2008 showdown at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Four months after the devastating loss, De La Hoya announced his retirement. De La Hoya came face to face with Pacquiao again on Thursday as he flew straight from Las Vegas to this Malaysian capital for the final press conference of the Pac Man's world welterweight title match against champion Lucas Mathis of Argentina. I really feel that it was your destiny to become the person that you are today. So I salute you and admire you, said the man who once was the face of boxing. Mathis, the reigning World Boxing Association, WBA, title holder, is being promoted by De La Hoya's Golden Boy promotions, while Pacquiao is fighting under his own MP promotions. The 45-year-old De La Hoya can't wait to see the two warriors get it on in the ring in what he said is a fight between the best against the best. This is what the sport is all about bringing the world together, and when these two fighters face inside the ring, there's no nationality whatsoever. They are two fighters who will bring the world together, they are two fighters who will give their best, said the former U. S Olympic gold medal winner. The Golden Boy Promotions CEO complimented his former tormentor for bringing a world championship bout to a country, where boxing is not really popular. And at 39, the Filipino is even taking a big gamble by challenging a dangerous title holder from South America known for his punching prowess. Many Pacquiao in the recent history of the sport has become one of the iconic figures the sport has ever had because he's building bridges between countries, attracting the youth to become fighters, to become warriors. He's giving them hope and opportunity, said De La Hoya. Manny Pacquiao is doing this through his heart, he's doing it because he loves to give back, De La Hoya added. He has become one of the most important legends in the sport of boxing because he's a legend outside the ring.